I'm sure most of us are familiar with working in a hot environment. If we work outdoors in direct sunlight, doing agricultural work, construction, landscaping, or maintenance, or if we work indoors in a hot environment, such as a warehouse, factory, or manufacturing plant, the heat can have an effect on all of us. For our body to function properly, it needs to be at a nice, comfortable 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. And to do this, the human body has its own built-in cooling system. It's called perspiration, or better known as sweat. Fortunately, when high temperatures, humidity, or overstimulated nerves inflict the body and then cause our body temperature to rise, the body itself will automatically begin to perspire. If our body is unable to sweat to cool itself down, the body temperature will continue to rise to unhealthy levels. And this can lead to heat illnesses, such as heat cramps, heat exhaustion, or heat stroke. On top of that, as our body temperature climbs, our ability to think clearly is compromised, and we can easily become irritated, irrational, or possibly violent. And this, too, can lead to possible workplace hazards and job-related injuries. During the next several minutes, we're going to spend some time understanding the hazards of working in the heat. We're also going to discuss how we can potentially minimize the hazards that come with working in a hot environment. Essentially, if we gain a solid understanding of how the body works and then begin to work with our body, we can easily maintain our optimum health while working in these extreme working conditions.